booktube. Today we are talking about books versus movies. Now, obviously if you're watching this video, you're a book person, but I think that this is a discussion that we need to have and movies are good too and we just have to remember that the book was better, obviously. So let's get started. When you are talking to a person and trying to figure out like their hobbies and what they like and what they enjoy, usually they fall into one of three categories, books, movies, or music. And they have a ranking for those three, like maybe music's most important to them and then movies and then books. For me, it is books, movies, music. I really would be fine if there was no music in the world, but if I had to live with one of just three of the, just one of those three, I would pick books without a doubt. Um, my brother's really into movies, and so we have this discussion. It's not like a debate or anything big, but it's always fun to see how he's so into movies and I'm so into books, but we can still enjoy the same things. And I was in a discussion with someone today and they said that they never wanted to watch the Harry Potter movies because they were scared that it would ruin the books for them. But as I am reading the Harry Potter books, I'm watching the movie that um, goes along with that book, but I read the book first. So that's just how we've always done it in my family growing up. The first book that I ever read and then saw the movie was the um, Chronicles of Narnia series. So with each of those books that they made a movie for, um, I read the book and then I saw the movie after I had actually read the whole series. And I've never seen the Hunger Games movies or read the books, and but that's a big one that, like, when that was coming out, everyone was like, the Hunger Games movies are so good, the Hunger Games books are so good, and there are these warring factions, and I was like, you don't have to be one or the other, you can enjoy books and like them better, but also appreciate the movies. I appreciate that the Harry Potter movies do stick as close as they do to the books, but I see how... If you're a Harry Potter purist or a Jane Austen purist or whatever you are, if you like the book better than the movie and you think that the movies should be exactly like the book, I'm sorry. You're just not going to get what you want in this world. You need to go to another world and maybe you could find a book world that you can go to because that is not going to happen in this century or in this world ever. You cannot make a book come to life on screen the way that it plays in your head while you're reading the book. The Lord of the Rings does a really good job following the books, but even then they throw some things in there, and I know The Hobbits, they threw a lot in there and took a lot out. So when you're developing something for screen, you can't stick perfectly to the book. I love when they have the writers involved, like J.K. Rowling, I believe, was involved in the Harry Potter movies, and that just makes production so much better because they are trying to stick to the movies, but you can't do that all the time. So what are your thoughts on movies and books? I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Do you like to read the books and then see the movies? Do you like to just read books, or do you like to just read, blech, just watch the movies? What do you think about this whole debate? Do you think you should pick a team and be with it forever? Or do you think you should just see what comes series to series? So let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, the book was better.